Once your vehicle is raised and supported safely, you're going to remove all five lug nuts using a 21 millimeter socket. Remove your wheel. The next thing we're going to do is remove these bolts right here that hold the caliper to the slider pins of the bracket. And use my 14 millimeter. Take out both those bolts. I'm going to continue with that pry bar. Just get this caliper out of the way. Let's get these pads out of here. Next, I'm going to use my 15 millimeter and take out these two caliper bracket bolts. Remove that bracket. The next thing you would want to do is just take one of your lug nuts, start it on one of the studs here. If the rotor's stuck on, which this one isn't, you would just take your hammer, give it a little bonk, break it free. The lug nut's going to keep it from uh, possibly coming off and hurting you. Get the rotor right off of here. All right, so at this point, we can see the cover right here. I'm going to use this tool. It's got some little edges on it. I'm going to come right along the edge where the cap meets onto the hub. Grab onto it right there. Give it a little bonk, breaks it free. You want to check your cap to make sure there's no damage that might let moisture in there. This looks great. We'll set it aside. At this point, we're going to remove this axle nut. Use your 36 millimeter socket. Grab your hub, pull it off of there. Next, I'm going to take some solvent, clean up this area. Check to make sure there's no burrs or anything anywhere around this. That looks really good. If it's scored up, you might need to do something about that. Now is going to be time to install our brand new hub. I'm going to use a tiny bit of thread locker right along the threads. Slide this bearing up on here. Grab your nut. Now we're going to bottom this out. Torque this to 251 foot-pounds. Torqued. I used a little bit of RTV or gasket maker and right along the edge. Just bonk that on there. Of course, clean up your mess when you're done. Let's put a little bit of copper never seize on here. Get your rotor. Put it up on there. I have a spare nut and then one of my lug nuts. That's just going to hold the rotor from moving around too much on me. Now, if you look at your mounting bolts, if you see thread locker or a whole bunch of rust, you need to make sure you clean up those threads and then we're going to reapply thread locker. Now it's time to get the bracket on here. I've got my bolts nice and clean with a little bit of thread locker. We're going to start them both in, bottom them out, and then we'll torque them to manufacturer specifications. Let's torque these bolts to 85 foot-pounds. Torqued. Let's get our brake pads on here. So these little pins right here kind of hold the pad away from the rotor. So as soon as you release the brake pedal, they're going to want to separate and then the rotor is going to be able to cool down as you drive. Next we're going to grab the caliper. You're going to notice your slider pins have the flat area and then the rounded area. You want these flat areas to be up against the flat area on the caliper. That's going to hold them from spinning. Squeeze those pads in of course. Start in both of these, then we'll bottom them out and torque them to manufacturer specifications. Let's torque these to 25 foot-pounds. Let's get the wheel back up on here. Start on all your lug nuts and then bottom them out. Now we're going to bring this down and torque it to manufacturer specifications. Now with the vehicle's wheel touching the ground but most of the weight of the vehicle off of it, we're going to torque these in a star pattern to 100 foot-pounds. Torqued. 